Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be updating your Mac. It doesn't really matter which Mac you guys have, it's the same thing for all of them. So on the top left hand corner, we're going to see the Apple logo. Let's just click on that Apple logo and we're going to see our second option where it says System Preferences. Our updates way back used to all be in the App Store. So if you guys are in an older Mac OS, go into the App Store and all your updates will be there. If you're almost up to date, then system preferences. Let's just go right into there. Once we pull up system preferences on the left hand side, our third option down here below will be software update. And I'm counting one, two and three below. OK, so that's software update down here below. Click right there. We should see something loading. And then finally, this we can always click on more info just to see exactly what this is and how big it is. So it does require a restart. All Mac OS updates require a restart, and this is 2.98 gigs. Before we click on install now, which is down here below, or we can close this and just hit on update now, which is on the top right hand corner from this window. Before we do that, I want to let you know that you should back up your Mac before doing any update. Just use Time Machine, which is something pre built into your Mac, and make that backup. I do have separate videos showing you guys how to set that up with an external hard drive and that's really important so you guys won't lose anything just in case something crashes or something bad happens throughout any type of update. It's very important to have those backups if you care about your files. Anyways, once you guys have done that, go and hit update now. Now this is about three gigs. So for most of you, this is going to be pretty fast. But for some of you with slower internet, sure, this could take a couple of minutes to a couple of hours, depending on your internet speed. So we're just going to hit on update now. All right. So about 20 minutes or so after you see a loading screen with an Apple logo and a loading bar, and it's going to restart about two times, then it's going to be done. So that's about 20 minutes for most of you. And this will open back up. If you guys have any more updates, this is the time that's going to happen. So Epson printer updates right here. We can just update it now. If you guys don't see that, that's OK. That's just because I have an Epson printer. For most of you, you won't see that. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.